नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन मशीन डिजाइन इज गोइंग टू बी द प्रिफर्ड सीरीज वॉट इज प्रिफर्ड सीरीज लेट अस सी यू कैन सी एवरी वर्ड इज आइदर हाईलाइटेड और मार्क्ड बिकॉज एवरी वर्ड हैज अ सर्टन मीनिंग सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इन अ डिजाइन डिजाइन इंजीनियर हैज टू स्पेसिफाई द साइज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट स्पेसिफाई साइज प्रोडक्ट सो इफ अ प्रोडक्ट इज देयर इट शुड बी ऑफ अ स्पेसिफिक साइज there are so many sizes available in the market then i don't want extra sizes i only want those sizes of the product which are going to be used by the customer then what i should do i should go for preferred series size of the product means it can be a motor of a particular kilowatt capacity it can be a crane or any other equipment of a particular load amount in newtons it can be a bike or a car which is having a certain speed or an electric motor rotating with a certain rpm or it can be any product having a certain height length weight breadth any parameter if i want that parameter in a particular size then i should go for the preferred series more amount of sizes will confuse and will not be usable so only exact amount of sizes which are usable by the customer only that should be selected product is manufactured in so many sizes and models for example an electric motor with a certain kilowatt capacity rotating with a particular rpm if i want it between 0.5 to 50 kilowatt then there are going to be n numbers if i start from 0.5 1 1.5 2 2 2.5 there are so many products which will be available i don't want to manufacture all of them cost will be increased so i want only those products to be manufactured which will be used by the customer then how to do it with the help of the preferred series now every word has a meaning preferred numbers are used to specify different sizes of the products only those sizes which the customer is going to use to keep standard dimensions of the different sizes previously we have seen the word which is called as standardization standardized parts are used by the customers more so standardized parts if i want to prefer i should go for preferred series there is a link between standardization and preferred sizes geometric progression is used in the preferred series system is based on geometric progression and use of geometric series is nothing but the use of the preferred series like i said every word is important geometric series preferred series geometric progression why just geometric progression arithmetic progression is going to give us lot many product sizes and like i said we don't want so many sizes of the product there is going to be unnecessary wastage of money so geometric progression is preferred preferred series is divided into two types basic series and derived series we are going to discuss both what is basic series and what is derived series now like i said when there is a step ratio how to find out that or how the geometric progression is better now see when a sequence of a constant ratio is achieved i can call it as a geometric progression let us see what is arithmetic progression first see these numbers 10 minus 7 is going to give 3 7 minus 4 is going to give 3 and 4 minus 1 is going to give 3 if i am using arithmetic progression then the difference is going to be achieved and lot many products will be manufactured but if i am using ratio for example 8 by 4 i'll get ratio 2 4 by 2 is again 2 and 2 by 1 is again 2 numbers will be less products manufactured will be less they will be in a certain ratio that's why geometric progression is preferred now if i want to define preferred series then preferred series are series of numbers obtained by geometric progression and they are rounded off this sequence has a constant difference 
लाइक आई सेड हियर द कॉन्स्टेंट डिफरेंस इज टू राइट सो इफ आई एम यूजिंग अ स्टेप रेशियो less parts will be manufactured standard parts will be manufactured only those parts will be manufactured which the customer uses in the market like i said there are two series first is the basic series and the other one is the derived series let us see what is basic series r5 r10 r20 r40 and r80 these five are called as the basic series you can see over here fifth root of 10 is giving me a number which is 1.58 same way 10th root of 10 20th root of 10 40th root of 10 80th root of 10 is giving me a geometric progression ratio it is giving me a certain step ratio r10 r20 r40 and r80 these five are called as the basic series you can see over here fifth root of 10 is giving me a number which is 1.58 same way 10th root of 10 20th root of 10 40th root of 10 80th root of 10 is giving me a geometric progression ratio it is giving me a certain step ratio if i want to show in the diagram then you can see this is a r5 series this is the r10 series this is the r20 series and this is the r40 series suppose if i am manufacturing the products by r10 series then this is the geometric progression ratio i'll get lesser number of parts but they are in a certain ratio if i'm using r10 series as compared to r5 series i am going to get one two three more options three more parts will be manufactured so as and when according to what amount of sizes i want to manufacture i can select a proper basic series each series is prepared by taking first number as 1 and then multiplying it by the step ratio so if i am going to use r5 series or r10 or r20 you can see everywhere the first number which is taken is 1 then i am going to multiply by the geometric progression ratio means i am going to take r5 series then 1 multiplied by 1.58 if i am going to take r80 series then 1 multiplied by 1.03 and then further you will understand more when we are going to do more calculations again i need to multiply by the third number multiplied by the fourth number so step ratio will keep multiplying and will give me the sizes of the products now basic series has five numbers r5 r10 r20 r40 r80 but what if i want some more sizes avail to be available in the market or i want reduced sizes to be available in the market then i should go for the derived series derived series comes from basic series itself it is either reducing numbers of the basic series or increasing the numbers of the basic series let us see the first method reducing number of basic series now r10 series like i said r10 series has so many numbers it is 1 1.25 1.602 2.5 3.5 so i have so many numbers in this if i reduce certain numbers from this i will get the derived series for example if i am doing r10 by 3 means i am taking every third number into consideration not the full r10 series but in the r10 series i am going to take just the third numbers this will reduce the number of the series numbers of the basic series and that's why i'm going to call it as the derived series here you can see this is r10 series i'm just going to take every third number let us see one more example again i'm going to reduce the numbers of the basic series so i'm going to get the derived series for example the series that i'm going to use r20 
आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टेक एवरी फोर्थ नंबर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी सीरीज नॉट द फुल ट्वेंटी सीरीज बट जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द फोर्थ नंबर ऑफ दैट सीरीज बट इट शुड हैव नंबर एट इन साइड सो अगेन द सीरीज इज रिड्यूस्ड आई डोंट वॉन्ट पार्ट टू बी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन लार्जर अमाउंट आई वॉन्ट टू मैन्युफैक्चर इन अ स्मॉलर अमाउंट बट स्टैंडर्डाइज पार्ट देन आई कैन गो फॉर द डिक्रीज सीरीज ऑफ द नंबर वॉट इफ आई वॉन्ट मोर नंबर लेट अस सी द एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम गोइंग टू डू द इंक्रीजिंग ऑफ द नंबर देन यू कैन सी आई एम चूजिंग आर फाइव सीरीज always starts with number 1 1 multiplied by the number geometric progression ratio the geometric progression ratio with the r5 series is 1.5 i am going to round off that number instead of taking 1.58 i am going to take 1.60 if i am going to take 1.60 this is my second number 1.60 again multiplied by 1.60 i'll get 2.5 i'm round rounding of the numbers 2.5 into 1.6 again i'll get some number i'll round off to the number 4 4 into 1.6 again i'll get some number that is 6.3 this is r4 sorry r5 series now in r5 series i want to increase the numbers so next i'm going to multiply it by 10 1.6 multiplied by 10 will give me 16 2.5 multiplied by 10 will give me 25 4 multiplied by 10 will give me 40 10 multiplied by 10 is going to give me 100 what i am doing i am increasing the number of the geometric series still want to increase multiplied by 10 again 16 multiplied by 10 160 25 multiplied by 10 240 100 multiplied by 10000 i can keep on increasing the numbers as per the requirement of the design engineer as per the requirement of the customer in the market still want to increase again multiplied by 10 so if this whole series right from the first number to last number r5 series is 1 1.6 2.5 1 and so on ending with the number thousand the numerical says standardize whenever there is a word standardize you should understand you have to use preferred series standardized six speeds if i denote number of speeds by z then i want six speeds from 250 rpm to 1400 rpm since it is a speed that's why i'm writing n since this is the maximum speed so i'm writing n max which is 1400 rpm i am going to take the minimum speed since it is a speed i am writing down n it is minimum so i am writing down n minimum and it is 250 rpm next what i am going to do is that i am going to use the range ratio the formula for range ratio is rn is equal to n max upon n minimum like you can see n max is 1400 rpm n minimum is 250 rpm if i'll do proper calculation then i'll get a certain number of rn simplification will be giving me the number 5.6 so this is the first step write down the given data next you have to find out the range ratio then in step 2 i need to find out the geometric progression ratio i can also called as as step ratio geometric ratio the formula is phi is equal to rn raised to 1 upon z minus 1 if i do the calculation over here geometric progression rn i have achieved as 5.6 raised to 1 upon z you already know it is 6 minus 1 so it will be 5.6 raised to 1 upon 
if I'll do the proper calculation, I'll get 1.4113. This was the second step. Now I need to do the calculations of the speeds. Let us start one by one. N1 is N minimum, which is already given 250 RPM. N2 is N1 into phi which is 250 into 1.4113 which turns out to be 352 point something I'll take 353 rpm n3 is n1 phi square n4 is n1 phi cube n5 is n1 phi raised to 4 and n6 we already know it is n maximum which is 1400 rpm if i want to do the simplification after simplification i'll get the numbers as 492 point something so i'll take it as 498 rpm this will be 703 rpm and this will be something 992 rpm 